Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a look ahead at space weather. There was another minor solar storm overnight. We'll hit solar storm-related heart attacks, and I bet many of you have already heard the big news that the southern meridional overturning circulation appears to have reversed. We're starting here with the last 24 hours on our star. Still no significant solar flares, no eruptions towards the Earth. We did see the northern filament release, and the southern coronal hole is turning in. We'll get a better look at that in a moment, but first, here's a close-up of the northern filament release. It is heading further north away from the Earth. We took another enhancement of the solar wind, this time a rise in plasma speed. Moderate only, and we saw another minor geomagnetic storm overnight. These little taps from the sun causing black and blue marks these days at our planet. When we use 211 angstroms to view the coronal hole, we see that its trailing portion extends to low latitudes and up across the sun's equator. That one will impact Earth for sure around this coming weekend. We'll have eyes open. First article today hits the impact of solar storms on myocardial infarction heart attacks. The primary findings confirm two things we've seen in papers before. There's about a three times greater incidence of them during solar storms overall, with women being more at risk than men. The heart has electric vortices, responds to ions and electrolytic stimuli, and to magnetic fields. It all makes sense. The big story today is about the Southern Meridional Overturning Circulation, the SMOC. We often talk about the AMOC in the Atlantic, but this one circulates the waters around Antarctica. It is part of the greater ocean system, but it's one of the anchors, meaning it impacts everything else directly. This new paper hits a salinity change, the change in ice gain versus loss patterns, and the reversed SMOC flows. Folks, it's big news. The scientists are a bit stunned at it. We all are. This change is so drastic that even people like me who are expecting full system reversals are thinking, well, that escalated quickly. Folks, this isn't climate change in the way the TV wants you to think. It's the result of the system reversals associated with Earth's weakening magnetic field, the ongoing magnetic pole shift, the geomagnetic excursion. Things are progressing at a now anxiety-inducing rate. Speaking of the pole shift, we're five days away from the next pole shift conference at Observer Ranch. There's going to be another one in August, September, November, and December. We've got other major events the rest of the year, from meeting other observers to prepping days to tactical training. Find the events, check out campground details, and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>